Hello everybody, welcome back to Subnautica. Um, give me a second, I need to figure out what it is I'm gonna do. Because I still want to build a base, but also I just got all those blueprints. It's also been a few days since I recorded last, so... Um, yeah. Oh, darn it. I have to re-remember the controls. Cook some food, because I'm low on food. Make me some noms. Num. And no. I probably should have waited for that second one. Too late now. Okay. I need to make darn it. I need to make a freaking I need titanium. Okay. I'm gonna get some titanium. And I'm gonna make a titanium ingot. And with that, I'm going to make a, um, as soon as my brain starts working. My brain, it don't work. Come here, paper, come here, paper. Don't swim away from me, you prick. Uh, I'm going to make what the crap's with this lag? A mobile vehicle bay. So I can make myself a um, sea moth. If this game will allow me to. Freaking Gary Fish swimming away from me. What in the world? Oh, that's a coral horn thing. But yes, after I do that, uh, well, we'll see. I'm gonna try and freaking venture out and explore and hopefully find some new blueprints. Because, uh, apparently I need to find a blueprint to make that universal room for a house now. Well, not house, a freaking base. And apparently that's a pain to find. I don't know why they would do that to me. It's so mean. I mean, first of all, why even make it so you can get a habitat thing if you can't friggin' uh, make the part of it that's necessary to actually have a proper building the first time that you actually get the habitat builder thing. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Anyways, let's see, make me some titanium. And, uh, as soon as my brain starts working again, my brain, it don't work. It's late at night. I'm having trouble thinking a little bit. But,. God dang it, what is wrong with my brain? Anyways. I guess, uh... Yeah, I'll build this. Take however long it takes to make a Seamoth, which is probably gonna take multiple episodes, knowing my luck. Uh, and then we'll see what happens. Okay. Mobile vehicle bay. Haha. -ha. Now, what does it take to make Lacey Moth? A second titanium ingot, power cell, two glass, and lubricant. That actually doesn't take a lot. That's. Didn't it used to take more than that the first time I played? I swear it did. And now, apparently, my freaking thing is going off again. Okay, that's not in there what I'm looking for. No, I don't want to freaking change the wording on the... I'm going to stab somebody. Okay, two glass, I think, that required. Darn it. Gonna need to find more titanium. 
Okay, I'm gonna freaking answer that message so it freaking stops beeping beeping. This is Second Officer Keen broadcasting to all surviving Aurora crew. Captain Hollister is lost. I have assumed command. Scans say there's dry land 750 meters south of the crash site. Your orders are to stay together, ensure your immediate safety, and then regroup at the rendezvous point. Good luck. This message will now repeat. Warning. Rendezvous. Coordinates corrupted. Downloading transmission origin co uh, coordinates. Oh, joy! Congratulations, Survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to... Very routine for uniform muscle development. Okay. Uh, let me make some water. I probably have a bunch of water built up. It's just, I mean, why keep it as a fish at this point? There's no other use for it. And save. Oh, great. It's turning nighttime. Just what I wanted. Come here, oh fishy fishy. I'm just glad that it seems like the fishies respawn. Because I was going to be angry if they didn't. Last thing I need to do is... Well, I mean, if they make it to where the fishes don't respawn, then eventually the game becomes sort of unsustainable. Unless you find a way to make fishes, like... Well, no, 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 I take that back. If you get the freaking plants that you can grow for food and have that as a constant source, then yeah. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of these. Looking for titanium. See, this is exactly what I said back when I was looking for, uh, trying so hard to find freaking silver, is that I'm gonna get rid of a crap ton of titanium, and then at some point down the line, I'm going to regret it. And this is that point. I mean, sure, it's not nearly as hard to find, but still. I had more than enough titanium in the past. And now I don't. But whatever, what can you do? And now it's all pretty at night time, and then I'm going to regret it being night time because then it gets creepy. Well, these fishies aren't creepy. Problem comes is if I get anywhere near the freaking Aurora. Because I am desperately, desperately afraid of running into that abomination. The freaking, uh, what you call it? My brain just can't work today. Reaper Leviathan. Okay. So. Where is my life pod? I'm not seeing the beacon. Okay, here we go. What in the world is that a sh Okay, for a second I thought there was a flying ship just sitting there. I was like, where the crap did that come from? Like, can I swim to it and hopefully get beamed up or something and escape this terrifying ocean? I mean, the ocean's pretty and all, but the whole factor of drowning terrifies me. I hate the thought of drowning. I mean, the only way they can make that scarier in this game is if they added something similar to the freaking theme of drowning from Sonic the Hedgehog. one way to terrify children. Okay. I've got my ingot. Make more some more water, because I'm gonna need it. I think I got like four of these things. Alright. Three. Close enough. Save. And then... <laughs> Excuse me. Where's the thingamajig? I know I don't have all the materials, I just need to remember the freaking recipe. 
Okay, power cell and a lubricant. I should have lubricant. And I'm desperately hoping that I was smart enough to grab multiple power cells from that one place I went to. Okay, that's not a power cell. Please, please tell me. I don't think I did. I'm gonna cry if I didn't. <laughs> not really, but Jesus. No, you son of a muffin! Why me? What did I do to deserve this? Ah, screw it. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to craft a power cell, unless it's in here. Nope, just batteries. Great. Okay, I've got that. Silicone rubber. Where are you, almighty rubber? I'm pretty sure it was in one of these three chests. Haha. -ha. And I completely forgot to grab lubricant, but I'll get that in a second. And there's probably someone screaming in my head going, Oh, you idiot! You didn't pay attention! You don't actually have lubricant! And then I'm gonna freaking kill myself. No. <laughs> some of these fishes. May as well save again. Because there's no penalty for saving in this game. Okay. Do I or do I not have lubricant? Starting to think I don't. I mean, I'll easily be able to get it, but still, the fact that I don't have it is a pain. <sighs> Screw my life. Okay. Let's look for a freaking creep vine. Actually, there should be creep vine just straight on the way towards the Aurora. I think. We'll see. Let me think here. Oh, I forgot that I refilled this thing. Oh, of course, there's those things around. Why wouldn't they be here? As I hate that I don't have... I hate that the knives aren't permanent anymore. I mean, come on, it's made of freaking titanium. What's these fishes made out of? It doesn't make sense for it to break. At least not nearly that easily. Can you please don't? Okay, inventory full. Alright. That should be enough for some lubricant, hopefully. If I remember right. I'm gonna have to get a knife to... Well, actually, I don't even know if I need any more fiber material to make anything, so... I don't know. We'll see. Stop laughing at me, sea cow. You moo cows. I'm gonna make you with the stakes or something, I don't know. We'll see. <coughs> now... I need to make... lubricant, right? Should be able to finally make the thingamajig. Don't make that mistake. Don't make that mistake. Some free water. And down I go. Where is the thingy? If there's one thing I regret, it's not having a moon pool anymore. I miss my moon pool. Yes! It's kind of surprising that I'm getting this thing so early, but I've got no complaints whatsoever. Although I guess it's just complete luck that I even ran into that place that had those blueprints. Okay. 
set that there. Leave that alone. So it don't freaking drift away. Where's my Seamoth? My baby! Welcome aboard, God, Captain. I wonder. Freaking getting the moon pool uh, fragments was a freaking nightmare the first time. So I wonder how bad it's going to be now. Now that I think about it. Okay, before I head off, I'm going to make, or at least try to make, multiple power cells. What do I need? Silicone, rubber, and two batteries. Just because I don't want to get freaking stranded out there. And I don't know how long it's going to take me. Um, okay, there's two batteries. I should have more than enough copper to make some uh, multiple batteries. Let's see here. And silicone rubber is gonna take some more of those freaking creep vine clusters, isn't it? Yep. All right. All right. Batteries are right here. Acid mushrooms and copper ores. Got you. Okay, get some of these. Um, think here. Okay, that's enough of that. That's enough to make like three batteries. Oh, wait, now that I think about it, I probably need like four at least. Yeah. I swear I hate that button. Okay. Grab some copper. If I have any stored down here. I do. Uh, yeah, that's enough. Well, no, it's not. I'm one short, but I just have to go back there and pick it up, anyways. Now, make my batteries. Two, three, should be able to make five. go down for that last copper, or just get the copper out of the chest next to me, if there is any left. There isn't, so go back down, and I think there's this last chest. Six. So I will have six batteries, and then I'll just need to get a crap ton of cluster vines, or vine clusters. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks me. Oh. Yeah, it's two. Two more shrooms. Easy enough. I wonder if those regrow. And voila. Now I have plenty of batteries. Where's the thingamajiggy? Actually, I probably have too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, that's enough to make friggin' eight, pa four power cells. I just need clusters. I'm gonna store some of this. Store some of these. Well, I'll cook two of these fish, I think. If I can. Well, of course I can, what am I thinking? Sorry, I'm kind of rambling. It's late. It's like two in the morning in my time, I think. And none. Should have saved that. Too late now. Uh, and just store that. Okay. And. I think a cluster takes up four slots each, so that's gonna take multiple trips. But eh, screw it. But actually, no, I could store some of this other stuff. Now that all that copper is cleared out. Eh, I'll store the titanium. I don't need any more of that for now. And then. Get out there. 
drink some water. Uh, it's probably gonna go bad before I even get to eat it. Whatever. And... Oh, right! Didn't I get a blueprint for something that freaking... Like, recharges batteries? Pretty sure I did. I'm sorry I'm getting distracted, but, I mean... Why wouldn't I want to make something like that? Let's see, fire extinguisher, pipe, floating air pump... The question is... Where is it? It's probably from the habitat thing. Let me see... Pull that out, go outside... Okay, I've got a foundation. Still don't remember where I put that foundation of mine either. Bioreactor and battery charger. Let me guess, the power cell charger is separate too? Uh, of course. But whatever, that's a useful tool and I'm gonna get it whenever I inevitably make a base. It's just gonna be a pain, but whatever. Oh, really? The f how much food it gives is progressively getting lower? Because it started out at like, uh, well, at like 32, I think. Where did I leave my steam off? Okay, it's floating. Good. It's a good thing I've actually got a repair tool early on, because as far as I remember, back in the first playthrough, well, first play, Freaking laughing cows! Um, there was, uh, I remember specifically, I didn't get the repair tool until after I had the Seamoth, which made things a bit of a pain. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Could we not? Could we not do that? You know? Please don't poke my butt with your teeth. Specifically, your Snaggletooth. There's another thing I'm gonna have to do is get into the freaking Aurora and repair it. That way the radiation goes away, and that way I won't need a radiation suit anymore. At least I think that's the case. We'll see. Hold on one second. Well, crap. Uh, unfortunately, it would be a good time to end this episode. So if you enjoyed my rambling, uh, leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment, possibly leave a donation if you want to support me, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good night, everybody.